Kansas City, Missouri, Patrick Mahomes walked onto the stage in front of Kansas City's Union Station, his Super Bowl 57 MVP trophy in one hand, a can of Coors Light in the other. The Kansas City Chiefs quarterback then grabbed a microphone and made a promise to a crowd of fans. I just want to let you all know that this is just the beginning, Mahomes said. We ain't done yet, so I'll make sure to hit you all back next year and I hope the crowd's the same. We're back again. We're back again. Before we started this season, the AFC West said we were rebuilding. I'll be honest with you. I don't know what rebuilding means. In our rebuilding year, we're world champs. Mahomes and the Chiefs celebrated their 38-35 Super Bowl win over the Philadelphia Eagles in their second title in four seasons on an overcast, 40-degree day with a parade in front of a crowd of fans that officials estimated would reach more than 500, oh oh oh. Players exited their open roof buses at various points to high-five with and sign autographs for fans lining the parade route. On the many times when the homes did so, he was followed closely by security guards and police officers. Many of the offensive linemen wore shirts that read, Zero Sacks, with an oversized zero. The Chiefs held the Eagles, who led the league with 70 sacks during the regular season and added 8 more in their first two playoff games, without one. Fans were generally happy and in good spirits while waiting in long lines for food trucks, merchandise trucks and, of course, portable toilets. Some people slept overnight to get prime spots across from Union Station. But Shelly Deal, 46, of Kansas City, was seated along a street about a block from Union Station as the crowd became more congested in front of the rally site. 